Today we're going to learn how to uh, mince as well as paste garlic. So uh, garlic uh, is a series of cloves uh, encapsulated in a head. So the first thing that we need to do uh, to start working with our garlic is to remove the, the cloves from the head. Um, so what you can do is just kind of with your fingers start to break the garlic apart. Um, and you can see I can just pull those cloves apart through the paper. Um, sometimes the heads of garlic are really, really tight and you might have to break them apart a little bit first. You can just take your hand and kind of crush that crush that head a little bit to loosen up some of those cloves. Okay. You see, I can peel them off just with my fingers, just like that. So once I have my cloves uh, removed from the head, what I'm gonna do is I need to cut off the root end first. So you can see there's like this wispy piece of paper that leads up to the top. Uh, that's gonna be our top. And then we have this more woody looking bottom piece. That's gonna be our root end and that's gonna be what we wanna remove. So just with the tip of my knife, I'm gonna cut off the root end. Now, what you don't wanna to do to peel this clove is take this clove and start peeling it with your finger. It's gonna be really uh, stuck tight to that clove of garlic. It's gonna take a really long time to do that. What you wanna do is you wanna lay your clove flat on your board, and then you wanna take your chef's knife with the blade, excuse me, the, the blade facing away from you, angle the blade slightly down with the palm of your hand, give it just a little whack. You don't need to do crazy pressure, just a little whack. So from here, it's very easy just to pop out the garlic clove. All right, so to mince our garlic, now that we have our cloves separated from the head and from the papers, um, what we're gonna do is we're just going to run our knife uh, through the garlic. We can start by taking some of our bigger pieces and just slicing them down a little bit into smaller sizes. Okay, so we're using our slicing motion here. Once we have them just in a very coarse uh, chop, what we can do is transition to our chopping motion, where instead of using our slicing motion, we're gonna go just straight up and down and quickly run our knife through the garlic. You can see I run my knife through the garlic a few times and then I kind of collect the garlic that's dispersed across my board back into a pile. As garlic collects on the blade of your knife, you can push the garlic off your knife with your finger, but you see I'm going up and down on my knife. You never want to go across, you're going to cut yourself on the blade. But you can go from the top down to the blade to push the garlic off without cutting yourself. What's gonna be really important with our minced garlic here, um, again, not every piece is gonna be the same uh, shape necessarily, but we want every piece to be approximately the same size. So we don't want one piece to be huge while another piece uh, is really, really small. What's gonna happen is the piece that's really big is not going to cook at the same rate as the smaller piece. So we might have a burnt small piece of garlic uh, with a raw, really big piece of garlic. All right, so here I have my minced garlic. You can see um, all of the pieces are about the same, uh, about the same size, very consistent size here. And once I have my garlic minced, I can now make what's uh, known as garlic paste. Uh, so what garlic paste is going to do, it's gonna make a very, very smooth product. Um, that's going to completely disperse into whatever it is we're using it in. So like a really good example is aioli. If you ever had like a garlic aioli, this would be what you would use that in because you don't want pieces of garlic. You just want that garlic flavor. So I'm gonna start with my minced garlic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nice pinch of kosher salt. Uh, I'm using kosher salt. You could use uh, sea salt. What you don't wanna use is something like table salt or iodized salt. You want something that's gonna be nice and coarse because it's that coarseness in the garlic that's going to help break down that minced garlic. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the blade of my knife 
against the garlic, and I'm just gonna pull it through the garlic onto the board. This works really good uh, on a cutting board like this. Uh, I probably wouldn't do this on like a countertop, for example, because I want the texture of this cutting board that's gonna help uh, break that garlic down. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of pushing that garlic down into this board, and as it spreads out, I recollect it, and again, pull it down through that board until I get a really nice paste. Notice that I'm not really bending my knife. Okay, uh, chef knives, uh, these chef knives that we're using, uh, are not gonna be really flexible. So I'm not pressing down uh, and like bending or breaking my knife. My knife's pretty flat across the board and I'm just pulling the knife through that garlic. You can go straight up and down. I, I often will do like this kind of rainbow, this arching uh, motion that you can see. And then once it's all spread out, I recollect it. And I think I'm gonna go through about one more time. We have a pretty nice paste going on here. All right. And that's our garlic paste. Let's review. To remove the paper from the garlic, first remove the cloves of garlic from the head. Then, using firm pressure from your palm, press down on the garlic with the blade of your knife. When mincing garlic, make sure that we cut the pieces of garlic to a similar size to ensure even cooking. And when making garlic paste, add a pinch of kosher salt to help break the small pieces of garlic down into a nice smooth paste.